Football now, the reggae boys begin their quest for the Nations League finals next year when they take on Suriname on Saturday. However, they'll do so without four of the players from the original squad. More from Jerome Foster. Matches which should have been used as a gauge for the World Cup in November now turn out to be a rebuilding program for yet another campaign after the country crashed out of contention in January. Suriname and Mexico are the opponents in their League A group with the table toppers heading into the Nations League finals next year. Paul Hall is the man fully responsible for his own actions from now on after being elevated from his interim period. With only one win in seven competitive matches, the 1998 World Cup hero is on borrowed time for some fans. And he knows, whatever the circumstances are, nothing but a win will be accepted on Saturday. OK, so the preparation hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been perfect at all. Um, but, you know, that's, that's life. A, a team who we consider as being very good that will have a chance to their heart and that's all I can ask of them. There probably will be people who aren't comfortable, but let's see at the end of the game. However, Hall is handicapped with Ravel Morrison, Jamal Lowe, Rolanda Aarons and Shamar Nicholson all unavailable for the encounter. One in particular is a struggle for the head coach to come to terms with. Shamar isn't here uh, and due to administration, we, we just couldn't get him here. So uh, I can't explain that. He was called and I can't explain why he's not here. Um, you know, he didn't manage to make the flight to come. And I don't think that's, I mean, listen, that's not a question for me to, to answer. I just know that he's not here and I've got to press on um, and then press. But I'm looking forward to seeing him in Jamaica. Meanwhile, Hall says a plan of continuity was in place to have the majority of the players from the last World Cup qualifiers return. But the issue of commitment is once again a problem. Some of the reasons that I've been given say to me that some players aren't committed because th those reasons you wouldn't th those reasons they wouldn't give to their 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 they they would never give to their clubs and those and those reasons wouldn't be expected um, accepted. So for me, a reasonable excuse would be one where it's affecting family or where it it affects health. Because this is an, a, a call to your national football team. You are now getting your call to arms to represent your country. And I'm really particular about that. And it doesn't matter who you are. The match is scheduled to kick off at 6pm Jamaica time. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.